Welcome back to Pleasant Valley Laboratories, where today we're going to use what we talked about last time in calculating distance and direction and to help to upgrade uh, this farm into a legitimate target practice zone. If that's something that interests you, leave a like and subscribe for future tips. And let's go ahead and uh, cover the essentials. All right, now to start the, this out, what you're going to want to do is go into your old save files. And what you want is a save file in which you actually have a rifle with some ammunition or a bow and arrows and such, preferably both. Uh, this would be something that I would recommend at least doing on a Voyager level because preferably you're going to want to have some moving targets and animals to shoot out to work on your aim there as well. If you do this all the way down in Pilgrim, you can still do the uh, official target practicing but you'll probably want to get some practice with moving animals to have those in, so I recommend Voyager at least. If you want to do it on harder levels, that's completely your option, will work as well. You know, to each their own. And what I would actually do, number one, if you have an old save, most of us I'm sure do. If not, start a world up and work your way up. What you're going to need is, of course, bow, arrows, and of course, rifle and ammo revolver and ammo, whatever you want to practice with, you're going to have to work your way up. There's no easy way. I can't give you tips to respawn. We all know how locked down uh, the long dark is for modding. Not complaining, just observing. But what I would do is actually take this old save, and I would specifically rename it Target Practice. Once you've gotten that done, go ahead and load into it like you always would. Now, preferably, you've already gotten yourself to Pleasant Valley. If not, you're going to need to do that. Obviously, for this map, I have. And to set up your targets, you're going to need at least enough firewood and such to start a basic fire. I know I've got some stuff right here. You're going to want to start your mark freezing. at the target. And from trial and error, I've learned that you can basically get to about 20 steps or 100 feet from a deer before it starts to run away. So, that being the case, we have a reference point of distance from the target we want. And it's going to be approximately the tractor. But if you want to, to know that specifically, you just count it off. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Once you've got your mark, I use a good old fire pit as the reference point because it's big and obvious. Don't let me place it and then say it's too windy to start a fire there. Come on, come on. It works. Excellent. And all you really need is to be able to drop that uh, fire. Oh, I didn't see that coming at all. Nice to get level 5 on training video. So once you have that. Then you've got your distance set for that 100 feet. And the archery target is perfectly fine, obviously, for you to practice archery with. I'll try to give you some guidance on with this kind of distance. You're going to want to center line, a center line vertically. That's pretty straightforward. The best thing I could tell you is the line between the two edges of the tip is something you want basically just above your target. We'll do a couple test shots to kind of show you.
Not gonna worry about that last one. Obviously not my best shooting, but this gets you practice time in here. And that's ultimately what all of us need, is just more time with the bow. Now once you've gotten that uh, set up with distance and such that you'd like, an excellent option here that you can do is just go into the barn once to create a save point. Once you've done that once, then you can go out, shoot another round. But once you've done that round of shooting, don't just keep uh, reshooting those arrows. You're going to lose condition. What you want to do is simply quit out. Are you sure you don't want to quit? Unsafe progress will be lost. Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. Because your target practice will be when you last went into that uh, barn again, all of your condition points will still be there. Now there's another target we want to work with here. Now. It's tempting, I know, to use the uh, archery target as a rifle target as well, but what I've found is that the marks from a bullet blend in way too much Cold is making my with head the archery thick. marks on there, and it's hard to tell what your accuracy is. I have actually found that a better target are these handles. So that means we want 100 feet or 20 steps away from these handles, which is going to be right about that hill there. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And this is really the mark that uh, I do need the uh, mark for. So, Chance exists of 100%. Wow. Now, especially when you're dealing with fire, with uh, cold weather or something, the fire is handy to have. But mostly, when you're trying to aim for those uh, handles, That gives you a reference point. Okay, so it's jammed. I'm not going to worry about that. And I'll show you why. I'm going to go ahead and come on over here to get a reference point of what my shooting is like. Remember, I'm aiming for the handles. And you can tell I'm getting into the neighborhood. Now, if you wanted to start taking a look at, like, how many planks of wood away you were, that's a perfectly valid option. But this gives you solid reference points of distance away from target and your accuracy. Now I will be very clear. This is not not going to affect your stats. This is simply a drill for you to develop your target eye. There is one other variable I want to bring to mind here so you reference it. I just shot off several rounds. I'm going to quit. I'm going to go back in to my target practice realm. 
and as you can tell the bullet holes have gone away and in fact we should have gone in after we made the fire but I wanted to go ahead and just start a shooting for you but more to the point all the bullets are back. If tips and tricks videos like this are useful for you and you're leveling up in the long dark, leave a like and subscribe. In fact, leave a comment. What other advice, what questions do you have about this game? If you want to get back to more gameplay, please feel free to check out my new video in Crusade, in which I am attempting to map the entirety of the Great Bear Island and accomplish the Faithful Navigator Badge. I look forward to seeing you by the fire. I'm Commander Tom. I'll see you next time.